So we have your Rosebuds All-Stars going up against from Los Angeles, California, Los Anarchists. This is going to be a good one. Puns, why don't you introduce our guests today? Portland, welcome to the track. The LA Los Anarchists! Number 117. Rainbow Smash! 14, Hannah Wanna Slam Ya! 178, Frightening Lightning! 23, Trick Z! 26, Chocahannas! 362 is Twiggy Marley! 42, Mount Crushmore. 444, four, four, Rose Dread. 480, Sham Block Shake. 52, Squash Bob Skate Pants. 710, Brazilian Smacks. 79, Lil Regulator. All righty. 986 Geekster. And 99 Con Ivy Ivy. Folks, your Los Anarchists. And they are coached by Quadfather, Regulator, and Matt. Hamtrack, take it away. All right, are you ready for your Rose City Rosebuds All-Stars? Number 023, Sharpshooter. Number 13, Full Agora. Number 138, Demon Speed. Number 17, Little Trickster. Number 1717, Trooper. Number two, Donut Mess With Me. Number 26, Mace of Spades. Number 31, Kid Vicious. Number 360, Big Bang Fury. Number 423, Spencer. Number 43, Metal Vice. Number 44, Tyranny. Number 8, I'll see you later. And number 853, Misdemeanor. Give it up for your Rosebuds All Stars. Today they are coached by Darth Bling, Dirty Diana. Luna and resting will its face. All right, let's get ready for this game. It's time to get loud and cheer for your skaters. Man, y'all got quiet fast. All right, first up, in the gold, Trick Z. In the purple, Tyranny. Refs are ready. Skaters are ready. And they're off. Both skaters hitting the back of the pack. Tyranny looking for a hole on the outside. Both jammers pushing hard against tough defensive walls. Tyranny moving inside, almost finds a hole and is recycled back. Misdemeanor putting on a tour de force on number 23. Trixie having a hard time against that Rosebud's defense. Yeah. 
And misdemeanor sent to the box. Leaving the Rosebuds down a skater. Each defense still pushing hard. We are 57 seconds to get a lead jammer. That is Trick Z. And Tyranny is now out. Yep, and Trixie getting orders to call that one off and does. Keeping it at a three to nothing to start us off. Rosebud start with a pack disadvantage. Two skaters in the box. Demon Speed taking the line against. Hold on, trying to figure that out. 42, Mount Crushmore. Mount Crushmore. You cannot take her for granted. I got nothing. <laughs> I got absolutely nothing. <laughs> Mount Crushmore just chipping away at that defense. Chuck some Borglum would be proud. And we have a star pass. Trooper is now your jammer for the Rosebuds. And Misdemeanor just sends Mount Crushmore flying. Really good jam for LA there. 10 to nothing to open up their lead even further, but still very early in the game. Plenty of time left. And we have Lil Trickster on the line. Up against, against Lil, Lil Regulator. Regulator. Yep. The Lil Jammers. Not that either jammer looks pretty little. That's Trickster right. is not lead, though. Moving quickly, moving pack, forces a call off. Good strategy I, by the defense. I haven't seen a pack move that fast since 2008. Wow. All right, Brazilian smacks in the goal. Tyranny back on the line for the Rosebuds. Both teams opting for a pivot line start here, so we'll see how that plays out in their strategy. Both teams kind of learning each other in these first few jams. Yeah, it, it's always a challenge to figure, figure out what you're going to do. Brazilian, Brazilian smacks out first. And no points for either team. Tonkin.com, the largest selection of new and used autos in the Pacific Northwest, is only a click away at Tonkin.com. Demon Speed versus Frightening Lightning. I sense a theme with this jammer uh, pair off. Frightening Lightning forced back and recycled by Kid Vicious. Frightening Lightning get a li little bit of help from Twiggy Marley for a second there, but Marley has to bridge. Wow! Big hit! Oh, and Trooper's going to get a penalty for it. 
But two uh, locust anarchists going to the box as well. So That is a full box right now. There's a skeleton crew out on the track. I call this a diet pack. Fair enough. All right, Demon Speed is out, but is not your lead jammer. And that jam gets called off. Still no points for Rose City. We've got a new beer. Rainier, grab one today at the concession stand. Little Trickster on the jam line, or several feet behind the jam line for Rose City. And now we have an official timeout. That's a taco timeout. Buns. Porque no. Porque yes. Looks like they're pulling a skater out of the Rainier Beer penalty box. All right, three on three. Now both teams with one skater in the box. And Mount Crushmore takes off against Will Trickster. Both jammers uh, periodically recycled back in. Trickster looking for some room against that anarchist swall. Anarchists have been rather busy. Uh, played two games back to back yesterday, won both of them. Now they're uh, rested up enough to play again today. <coughs> That's tough. Trickster finding room and getting through to get out of the pack. All right, four points for Crushmore. So far, the game's leading score. Kelly Brown loves roller derby. And we love Kelly Brown. Who doesn't love roller derby? I know, I do. I'll see you later up against Trick Z. And I'll see you later says, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Catching up to the pack now. One of the anarchists has fallen down for quick points and a call. Oh! Whoa! And they'll get a penalty for that, so... Trick Z headed to the box. So, what a momentum shift now for the Rosebuds, who just got their first lead jam of the game, and three points. Now they're going to start with a full 30-second power jam. That's definitely what you need at this point. Misdemeanor playing a little hand grenade. And Blowing tyranny. up the defense. Tyranny. It's the new America where everyone cheers for tyranny. Oh, my word. Did you just go there? L.A. ran away from the uh, Road City defense and earned themselves a pack destruction for it. So blocker advantage to Rose City right now. Oh, beautiful footwork by Tyranny for five quick points. This jam is just what the doctor ordered for Rose City as they have scratched their way right back into this game. Trixie is taking off the helmet cover. And passes the star over. Shokahanas now. And Spencer took that a little bit too far. Earned an out-of-play penalty. Out-of-play block. So how about that? 13 to nothing jam. And the Rosebuds right back in this game. I love roller derby. Hopefully we'll see a lot more of that back and forth. Now the Los Anarchist jammer hanging way back. 
And it is Twiggy Marley trying to get up against Demon Speed coming through. Twiggy's trying to get through. Look at the defense of Trooper. Just not enough, though. Twiggy right. Marley gets out and gets lead as they are recycling Demon back in a quick, easy five points for Twiggy Marley. And oh. Twiggy Marley picks up a track cut. Great work by Fulagora to draw that cut. Yeah, great defense on the part of Rose City there. And now Trooper with another big shoulder trying to lay some offense down. Maximize this power jam for the Rosebuds. Oh, just not able to skate high on that outside. And Demon Speed takes off the helmet cover. They went out of play, but they were able to get back in time and not get a penalty. Lots of people headed to the Rainier Beer penalty box right now. Twiggy Marley is able to dance through for five more big ones. Now that's what I call jamming. And Demon Speed looking through. Trying to get through this slow Sanarka Swall and having trouble with it. Oh, a big hit on Trooper there as Trooper was taking the star. And Great piece of acrobatics to stay out of bounds there and not get called for anything. And Trooper up against the last line of defense. Wow. That was, I hurt just from watching that jam. Already some really big hits out here, puns. Bridgeport Brewing, check your Bridgeport beer cup. Three lucky winners will drink Bridgeport on RCR today. Check your check the bar for details. All right. Two Rose City blockers in the box, one LA blocker in the box. And we'll see if Mount Crushmore is able to carve her way through and it looks like yes on the outside Crushmore gets through Trickster's going to need some help from the offense Mesa Spades out there doing some work and Misdemeanor with the call out and forces a cut Misdemeanor fabulous job right there by him to get that cut call on the jammer power jam and now Misdemeanor blowing up on offense Misdemeanor doing both sides of it here. Great work all around. Lil Regulator had a beautiful hit on Lil Trickster, too. Uh-oh, it's turned into a bowling game. Mesa Spades and Trickster going off. Trickster, Trickster for got a track cut. cut. So that's going to be a power jam for L.A., and they are set up for it. The Buds defense rolling and twisting to contain the, the jammer. And doing a great job, too. They held for quite some time. And that's just time eight off the clock. So Trickster will be ready. Big shoulder played on misdemeanor by Mount Crushmore. That was monumental. I love it, puns. I love it. <laughs> and little Trickster out. Little Regulator just can't chase her down. That was a very tricky move. Crushmore gets through for four more. Apex jump does not go well. But she drew another penalty on Trick Z. I did see a penalty there right at the end, but I didn't see anyone go over. Oh, now we have, nope. All right, we have LCU later jamming for the Rosebuds. 
Brazilian smacks in the gold. Brazilian smacks just pushing that wall. Don't like, mess with me trying to hold her ground. And now it is all on Spencer, who did a great job. Held as long as possible before getting a penalty. That was just incredible power by Brazilian smacks. And great awareness by Elsie to not recycle behind everyone that they did not need to. So good awareness. OHSU Sports Medicine is proud to be the official medical care team of the Rose City Rollers. All right, legal regulator. Up against tyranny. Tyranny recycled by little regulator. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. It's going to be some eat the baby action here. This is going to be a long drawback. So this is known as eating the baby, and they're going to try and get the L.A. wall to absorb her. So now she has. So now this is a pre-initial pass. So regulator still has to go through for an initial. That's not even the initial pass yet. So tyranny has to come around and get through again and still won't score points. That's just crazy. So now Tyranny gets through. That's the initial. So Tyranny really did a great job to make this less of a hassle than it could have been. And after all of that work, still only a 4 nothing jam. So really some great strategy in the part of L.A., but also uh elsie did a great job of mitigating the damage there and it's only a four nothing jam when with an extra initial pass it could have been a lot worse could have been much much worse rc i would like to thank trailhead credit union and bike punk uh, that looks like an official timeout puns a taco timeout poor, poor k, k no poor k yes While the officials are talking, let me talk raffle. The One. officials are even dancing. As well they should be. So the raffle, $1 gets you one ticket, $5 gets you 10, $20 gets you your height, over $400 worth of stuff in there. And we are back. Trick Z versus Demon Speed. I like Quadfather's um, shimmy back across the track. Dude can hustle. Wow, Misty Meaner just blowing up anybody in sight. That that's kind of Misty Meaner's thing. Wow, great job! And now Misty Meaner bridging, and, and a high block called on Big, Big Bang Fury. Trixie gets the lead jammer, but Demon Speed not far behind. And Demon Speed able to get two points before the jam was called off. But Demon Speed also picking up two. Two town cider, damn fine cider made here in the Pacific Northwest. Damn fine cider. Rose City would also like to thank Picasa, Laura Rose Theater and Pub, Betsy and Aya Jewelry, Franz Bakery, Red Bull, and Portalis Insoles. All right, Mount Crushmore back at it, doing work against that Rosebud's wall on the front. Last line of defense is Madelweiss, but Crushmore gets through. Rushmore running over Metal Vice. 
Little Trickster taking off the helmet cover, looking for the star pass. Tricks are doing work on that back wall. Big shoulders in the way, though, from Frightening Lightning. And Frightening Lightning recycling Trickster all the way back. Trickster is back on the track. Power jam for the Rosebuds right now. All that offense, but nothing on any of the players that are affecting the jammer. And Chogahana sent off on a track cut. Now the Rosebuds preparing to play Get a little Bish bit of offense. trying to open a hole. Oh, big shoulder from Big Bang Fury. That just looks painful. And we've got a star pass to Trooper. And it's a foot race now. Trooper and Crushmore. Oh, Crushmore wants to run this one. Crushmore has to run this one. She was in the box. This goes the full two minutes. That's right. Oh, Trickster getting through. Runs into a face full of Los Anarchists. Wow, little regulator just said no to Trooper. 18-7 jam in favor of L.A. Deb counts Tabor. Let Deb guide you home. Proud realtor sponsor of the Rose City Rollers. Welcome to PDX.com. Big thank you to all of our sponsors making Roller Derby possible. Amen to that. Sharp shooter against Brazilian Smacks. And a penalty being assessed to 362 Twiggy Marley. And sharp shooter is out for lead jammer. She is gunning for some points. Oh, beautiful move on the outside. And Sharpshooter's coach is telling her to keep going. And some kind of penalty against number 710, Brazilian Smacks. And this has become a power jam for Rose. Pack destruction call against LCU later, but not before five more points for Sharpshooter. She's got both barrels loaded. Nicely done. Boom! And we've got a full penalty box. But the only thing that matters is the jammer in the penalty box, and she gets more! This is a huge jam for the Rosebuds. Yeah, this is exactly what they needed to get back into this game. Very, very strategic call off. 25 point jam for Sharpshooter. Wow, she just unloaded. And that brings the score to within 20 points, 80 to 60. And a timeout for Los Anarchists. Very strategic call off there because now Rose is gonna start with a power jam. That's the way to do it when you can. Hey, folks, if you're enjoying this, the junior season is not over yet. Come out January 28th to this doubleheader featuring the Rose Petals and the Rose Buzz matchup as they battle to dominate their 2017-2018 season. That's right. So much great roller derby here at Rose City. Just under seven minutes left in this first half, so make sure you have your raffle tickets. A lot of great stuff in the junior raffle. 
try and find a very tall person on skates because $20 gets you their heights worth of tickets. And every raffle I've ever called off, it's always the person that has done that that gets the win. Absolutely. All right, Tyranny starting alone. Big Bang Fury opening a massive hole. Tyranny very agile. It's a no pass, no penalty because she was out of bounds and recycled in front of someone who is also down. So this is a no pass, no penalty. That means Brazilian Smash can still earn lead jam. Oh, not anymore. Brazilian Smash is taking off the helmet cover. This is going the full two minutes. Tyranny twisting and turning against that L.A. defense. Brazilian smacks pushing hard against those road buttons defense. Neither jammer getting anywhere at this point. I love how Spencer moved up there and forced L.A. to bridge out. Rose Dread there was the bridge momentarily, but has now gone to play offense, but the pack is still together. And now the, oh, and a big hit out. Nice job by the Rosebuds. Big and, Bang Fury gets a penalty for it, though. And Fulagora is able to stay in bounds to recycle Brazilian Smacks all the way back. Both jammers looking a little bit tired at this point. I do not envy them. And it is a cut call on the jammer. Brazilian Smacks with a very graceful exit of the pack. Brazilian Smacks now the only jammer as the penalty box rather full there. And still only 20 points separating these two teams. WSL Leadership Coaching, helping you be more awesome in your work, sport, and life. Well, nothing like the officials to make me look bad. We have an official timeout now. Jam ref Jazzberry uh, making a last minute addition of points. So less than 20 points now between the teams. Jazzberry, she's good at refing. She told me to say that. All right, here we go. And it is Mount Crushmore out all alone and untouched through the pack. Great offense right there by Twiggy Marley. Now they're doing what is known as goading, holding a player back from their team. That holds them the pack. That was Donut mess with me, but Donut gets through. And now L.A. looking to go back with the defense. Uh, it's Tyranny back on the track. Just there's a maelstrom out there as the Rosebuds are twisting and turning to try to just control Mount Crushbar. Mesa yep. Spades trying to bludgeon her. Mesa Spades really just phenomenal work getting low and trying to get in front of the jammer there. Even though it didn't work out in the end, it still eats up time. Oh, but now Mace is going to get called on a cut. And that's going to allow Mount Crushmore to get through as they are now crossing the century mark at 100 to 68 with more time left in this jam. Good offense there by L.A. to break up the Rose defense.
And that's the worst part about when you're powerless like that is that you're, you're just a sitting duck, basically. Yeah. Ooh, Donut messed with me with a great hit there at the end. Yeah, but it was a no pass, no penalty. Donut clearly went out also. And now the jam gets called off with just over two minutes left. Big 25 nothing jam for L.A. Killer Burger, five minutes to burgers, beer, and bottomless fries. Killer Burger is one of our new sponsors. What a killer sponsor. I tell you, I murdered one of the burgers earlier. All right, that's going to be Trixie against Demon Speed. Demon Speed trying to get through that wall right now, but L.A. has got it on lockdown. Trixie's got one more to get through and does, despite the hip check of Big Bang Fury. And can Ivy Ivy is sent out for a penalty on Demon Speed. Demon Speed recycled and trying to get back. Another LA penalty. They are down to two blockers. Both teams down to two blockers. LA down to one blocker. We have almost a full six packs in the Rainier Beer penalty box. And we have a timeout from Rose City Rollers, the Rosebuds. Couple things to think about during this timeout. Season passes are available. Want guaranteed seats to all the games and into the Rose City Rollers uh, pass holder exclusive events. Get your 2018 season pass now. Also, hey, we're going to be doing the uh, raffle drawing soon. Once again, radar wheels and stuff in there. Betsy and Aya earrings, Pips donuts, Penzi spices. Joseph over at Propaganda has a haircut for you. There's geodes, art supplies, chocolates, a candy mold, Starbucks gift card, Clinique, over $400 value, dollars worth of value. All right, just 57 seconds left in the half. It is Sharpshooter taking aim on the jam line. Oh, almost some uh, shenanigans there. Playing a little bit of defense is the jammer. Oh, and we've they're going to go for it again. Lego Regulator is going to run all the way down. What this is doing is eliminating penalty time from both teams. So a little bit of uh, strategy at play here to get everybody out of the penalty box. Sharpshooter's going to get on quickly. It's not enough, though. Sharpshooter does get stuck back in the wall. So Sharpshooter on her pre-initial pass. Now remember, that is not an initial. Little regulator on her initial pass. Getting pounded in there. So lead jammer to little regulator. Sharpshooter still working on that initial. Now completes the initial. A little regulator having trouble with the defense and calls it. And that's halftime. All right, here we go. Second half action coming at you. It's Sharpshooter and Trixie on the Tonkin.com jam line. Both teams opting for a uh, mid straightaway start. As a jammer, I like that because that gives you a little bit of a run up of speed. Right. But Trixie getting a big hit from Trooper, and that allows Sharpshooter to get lead. Trooper put the beat down on Trixie. 
Misdemeanor followed up with a hit on Trixie. Now Sharpshooter working on that four wall. Needing a little bit of reinforcement here, but the four wall of the Rosebuds also doing work on Trixie. So it may not look like it right now, but every time Sharpshooter is passing the hips of one of those skaters, they're actually still collecting points, even though they're not out of the pack yet. Exactly. Yeah, but Trixie is not getting through. That Rose City defense is looking very good on this first jam of the second half. Show now they're is coming up to do some offense, and Lil Regulator takes the star. Nice star pass. Successful pass, and Sharpshooter is able to get through and collect points, but I see the outside pack ref. Looks like an illegal re-entry on someone. I think that would be Sharpshooter. But the refs are discussing it. The refs are discussing. We might see an official timeout here because there's some confusion, it looks like. Yep, official timeout there. That is a uh, taco timeout. And Sharpshooter is going to go to the box for the cut right at the end of the jam. Taking a look at the penalty board before halftime. Spencer had five for Rose City. Brazilian Smacks had four for Los Anarchists. Those are the only two in real penalty trouble at this point. Spencer doing work right now in that two wall, as you mentioned it. Spencer's got that jammer all bound up. But Crushmore does get lead. And a little bit of strategy being played here. Here comes L.A. to try and break up that wall. They do. And that lets Crushmore get through on this power jam. Sharpshooter dancing on that inside line. Not able to stay in bounds as Crushmore goes for four more. And Sharpshooter is able to escape the pack and is now eligible to score. And L.A. decides to call it off for that reason. 11-0 jam in jam number two. Trickster up against Twiggy Marley. Some strategy on behalf of the jammers here. Trickster starts to attack the wall and gets through on the inside for Rose City. Lee Jammer. Medalvice and Misdemeanor trying to hold back. Trickster already with two points, gets all four and calls it off. Perfect timing on that call-off, too. And the great defense on the part of Rose City there to go one of the L.A. players. She, as soon as she passed that skater, got the ghost point in the box, too. Voodoo Donut, the magic is in the hole. Proud sponsor, the Rose City Rollers and the Wheels of Justice. Looks like tyranny jamming for the Rosebuds. Little regulator for L.A., So Little Regulator's mom, Regulator, is the third base coach for L.A. Oh, Rose needs to run here. Oh, both jammers getting one point. Tierney able to jump in front of one skater before the last whistle of the first four. That's that, why you play all the way to the fourth whistle. Absolutely. All right. Now this next group, Spencer with Madelweiss and Mace of Spades playing offense is Misdemeanor. 
Starting Apple to do work. Takes Mist off for LA. Misty Meaner so good with those shoulders. Absolutely. Just crushes people. Shamblock Shake getting a penalty for cutting. Illegal re-entry. That leaves Demon Speed all alone. And Demon will get lead jammer. Great work by Metalvice to open some holes there. Oh, they were almost going for that. Yep. Yep, that was a good draw of the cut by Squash Bob Skate Pants. And now Demon Speed will have to go to the box as the jammers will exchange. And it'll be a full 30 seconds as Shamblock was out of the box before Demon Speed got there. Oh, an easy walk in the park on the inside for Shake. And Shake is out on the initial. Jammers thrive on chaos. So Absolutely. When the, uh, when the offense can create chaos in the wall like that, it helps them get through, but not good enough as a penalty again as the jammers have just switched out both times. So now a full 30 seconds. Power jam for Demon Speed and the rest of the Rosebud All-Stars. And Demon Speed has completed her initial pass, so this is a scoring pass. Need more offense here. Los Anarchists able to keep Demon Speed back the whole time. Their jammer was in the box, and now the defense will go to work for Rose City. Both defenses going to work. Garden Bar, grab a Garden Bar wrap at concessions and check your program for a $2 off coupon. All right. Trickster back about 20 feet back of the jam line is going to let Frightening Lightning take the wall first. Trickster now doing work, stepping out of bounds, has to get recycled back. Both jammers getting recycled back. Trickster looking for some room on the outside. Back to the in. Trooper trying to open a hole for Trickster. Low regulator doing some offensive work as well. Defense is uh, both doing a great job right now. Kid Vicious right there with a good hit. And now Trooper is going to get a shoulder in there and have to recycle. There's Trooper recycling back. Can't go that far, though. And Low Regulator is off for a track cut. Chicks are getting recycled back. Here we are a minute into the jam. Still no lead jammer. Oh, and you can tell the fatigue starting to set in just yeah. a little bit as Mount Crushmore getting a penalty. This leaves L.A. with just two blockers. Yep, Trickster able to get through. And Trickster is your lead jammer. Very full penalty box for L.A. right now. Only one blocker on the track. And Frightening and Lightning with a black block, back block. Wow. How about that? What a great play by Rose City right there. Now still only two. Only two of them on. Keep them separated. Oh, and a drawn cut call. Boy, this jam got interesting. Trickster skating through unopposed. That's 15 unanswered points in this jam. And the jam comes to an end. Little Trickster, 15 to nothing jam. The largest selection of new and used autos in the Pacific Northwest is only a click away at Tonkin.com.
And Tyranny accelerates. Wow. And wow, that was fast. Tyranny turned on the Jets right there on the outside and was not looking back. Now the Rose City defense, which is much improved over the first half, is doing work against Twiggy Marley. Twiggy Marley on a track cut. Yep, and Tyranny gets through again. This is a good momentum shift for the Rosebuds and gets through again, one to beat, gets through, not enough. Five more for Tyranny. Good work by Squash Bud. Skate pants to hold up Tyranny for a little bit, but. Yep, I'll see you later on a direction of play call. And the call off by Tyranny. What a great jam. That's 12 nothing for the Rosebuds now. Only 30 points between the teams as there's been quite a momentum shift in favor of the Rosebuds All-Stars. Absolutely, Hamtrak. All right, both walls going for that mid straightaway start again. Now inching back to the jam line. That's Sharpshooter going up against Shamblock Shake. Sharpshooter looking room on the outside and runs out of space in a big hurry. Great defense there by Mount Crushmore, who did a great job jamming, but now is a pretty darn good blocker, too. Sharpshooter looking for room on the outside and has nothing to go on. Bang Bag Fury has to let her go. No pass, no penalty for Shamblock Shake, so lead is still open. And Kid Vicious calls for the star pass and gets it. Yep. That's the hard part about no pass, no penalty. You may not know. Yep. So this one's going the full two minutes. Ooh. Oh, wow. that hurt. Both teams very, very physical. There will be bruises tomorrow. Can Ivy Ivy and Little Regulator putting on Wow. A wow, Little Regulator put a, a good shoulder in there. Oh, and now Kid Vicious able to get free. And it is a race to the penalty box. L.A. with only the one blocker, and Kid Vicious gets through. As both teams just continue to exchange points. Shamblock Shake wanting to call it off, but there is no lead jammer. Oh, sharpshooters down. Wow. That was one of the more physical jams we've seen. Yeah, it was.
All right, looks like we're back ready to resume action. Donut mess with me on the jam line, but her teammates call her Dernut, so that's what she has on the back of her jersey. Dernut. Oh, a little defense being played by the jammer at first, and Dernut gets lead jammer. Oh, Spencer able to stay in bounds, but still not able to hold Twiggy Marley back. Go on, go on. Durnett trying to get through that pack. It's a tough wall. Oh, she's still collecting points, though. Gets through. And they want her to run it. And drew a low block on Geekster. And they decide to call that one off. And it is going to be two more points. So Rosebud's winning that jam, 6-4. Only 28 points between the teams. And we have got Chokahanas facing off against Trickster. Trickster likes that 20 feet back start. See how the jammer for LA was guiding Trickster into the wall there. Yeah, that was good, good uh, awareness there. Oh, big hit from Trooper, who immediately recycles back in. Oh, and look at the work that allows Trickster to get through. Wow. Trooper, I'll see you later in Big Bang Fury. Just do yep. a number out there. Yep, and it was absolutely hard work by them that actually got Trickster lead jammer. Because yeah. Chocahontas was home free until they just came back through and said, nope. Unfortunately, Trickster is now out with a penalty, so... Big hit on Elsie from Chocahontas getting through, but still, oh, wow. Big hit by Misty Meaner. And that is going to earn a penalty. And Chocahontas wow. coming around. Trickster back on the track and doing work on that L.A. wall. Only one to beat, but yeah. that's Little Regulator who earns a penalty for her efforts. Oh, and Trickster just out of bounds and basically cut everybody. Yep. And... Unfortunately, they didn't hear about the cut call until already all the way around, so that's going to just eat up more time. Yep. That's never fun. And they're going to end that jam. 14-4 in favor of L.A. and a power start for their efforts. Now there seems to be a rather large grouping of zebras. And it is an official timeout, a taco timeout, as it were. Poor K, no. Poor K, yes. That many zebras together is almost unheard of. What do you call a group of zebras? A confusion. That seems appropriate. Sometimes. Not with our zebras, of course.
Still anybody's game here. 40 points apart with 12. Well, they just changed it on me. 42 points now between them with 12-18 left in the game. I think they do that on purpose. Extra crispy up here is just playing with buttons. All right, our head official, Nitty, is uh, conversing with the leadership of the Rosebuds All-Stars, explaining what was going on. We look forward to seeing everybody come back on the 27th of January where the Heartless Heathers and the High Rollers will play. And then the next day, more Junior Derby action, a double header on the 28th. So make sure to get your tickets for those games. And also remember, on the 10th of February, that is the 13th annual Anti-Valentine's anti Day party. At the Eco Trust Building, don't miss the fun and debauchery courtesy of the Heartless Heathers. Yep, big fundraising uh, event for the Heartless Heathers. Our defending champion for Rose City's home teams. All right, power start for Mount Crushmore. Running into Spencer and Mace of Spades. And the penalty going to Madelweiss. Mount Crushmore, lead jammer, doing some work on the Rose Wall. Oh, and it looks like it's going to be a back block penalty on Mount Crushmore. This will go all two minutes. Yes, indeed. Trickster back on the track, engaging the back of that wall. Oh. Takes a spill to the inside. Not finding any room on that inside line is Trickster. And they all recycle back. Pretty good penalty kill here by LA. And we have a star pass to Fulagora. Who also gets recycled out. Wow. One person wrecking crew here. Squash Bob Skate Pants pretty much doing an awful lot of work and then goes to bridge the pack. Yeah, very, that, that's just a clinic right there by Squash. Very Bob. good derby awareness there. And Fulagora finally clearing the pack. Oh, beautiful move. Not able to stay in bounds was Crushmore. Big hit by Fulagora and a good screen, but staying in bounds was Little Regulator. Artistic waltz jump there. All right. 10 nothing jam for LA. 10 minutes left in the game. And it looks like a power start for L.A. That's a big power start with having four blockers on the track and the opposing team without a jammer and without two blockers. Yeah, this is not a good one for Rose. They're going to have to run. Run, run, run. Oh, Trooper taking the fall. Held them as long as possible. Mesa Spades not finding any traction there on that turn one. And now joined by Spencer. Let's see what happens now. Big hit. And a high block called on Big, Big Bang Fury. Fancy little move by Twiggy Marley and the quick call off. Yields another five points for L.A.
One Rosebud in the box, full strength for LA. Demon Speed on the line against Trick Z. And we have another official taco timeout. Hmm, 4K maybe? Oh no, wait. 4K no. 4K possibly. Or 4K yes. Don't forget, a lot of the games do sell out here. The only way to guarantee yourself a ticket is to get a 2018 season ticket. Season tickets on sale now. This is a good song. I hope it's edited. And we are back. And, and after all that discussion, there is now a Los Anarchist jammer in the box. Yep. Power start for the Rosebuds. They really need this. And Demon Speed <laughs> is getting her exorcise. Oh, fancy move on the inside. Not enough. Demon Speed pushing on that wall. Trying to get through. Does get through. Only got one to beat. Oh, but just hangs a toe stop out of bounds. Squash Bob Squarepants up playing some offense. And a quick call off by Demon Speed. Five nothing jam. And the Rose Buds will start the next jam with a slight pack advantage. With Tyranny and Trick Z on the line. Blocker advantage to the Rose Buds. Rose Buds wall pinning in that LA wall and it works. Tyranny getting lead jammer. Meanwhile, Trick Z pushing hard against Spencer and the rest of the defense. The Rose defense is much improved. Tyranny gets through again, but finally, Trick Z finds some room. And Tyranny gets the keep it going call. Just Spencer there and not able to hold Trixie back. Oh, one point for Trixie on that last pass. Total of five, but 13-5. 40 points between the teams as we're just over six minutes left. We have an empty Rainier Beer penalty box, so five on five skating. Yep, and the LA moving back, taking advantage of Trickster's late start and recycling beautifully. Both walls doing a great job right now. Rainbow Smash did a great job to come up and help Squash Bob. Oh, look at Trooper in there. Held him as long as possible.
Trickster pushing up against that three wall. Trooper and Rainbow Smash bridging. Twiggy Marley just digging in on that inside line, trying to get Trickster out. Trickster manages to stay in. And Squash Bob out on a track cut. Did not see Misdemeanor on the drawback. Misdemeanor's had a great game. I think he can say that every time. It's true. Trickster recycled back now. Needs to get back on the track quickly. Time's wasting. And it's it the strategy kind of worked. Rainbow Smash getting called on a pack destruction. Trickster looking for some room. Trickster pushing against that three wall, and the fatigue is just so great by this point in the game. Oh, yeah, you can just see it on all the jammers, really. I don't care how youthful you are. This game is tough. Yeah, it takes a lot out of you. And the jam just gets called off. And it looks like a timeout, Rose City. Four minutes left in the game. Forty two points between the teams. Let's hear it from all the Rosebud fans out there. We got any LA fans? All right, there's a couple. There's a couple. What about those Rosebud fans? That's, that's really not very fair. No, not very fair at all. Dernet on the line. Both teams full strength. And we're ready for the last four minutes of this game. Ooh, a little uh, jockeying for position here. Yes, indeed. All right, Shogahana's out in the gold. Yeah, Rillo Regulator doing the work all alone against Dernit. That is a hard three wall to get through. Now he's going to get some help from Kid Vicious, pinning back one player. But Lee Jammer goes to Chocahontas. Don't mess with me, a little stop and go move. Oh, and she gets through on the initial. Ooh. Big hit from Spencer. Wow, with all those whistles, I was kind of hard to tell when the, the last whistle was. And no points for Rose City on that time. Three more for L.A. And it looks like a timeout has been called by Rose City. L.A. has been very busy this weekend. Played back-to-back -back games yesterday. Won them both. The physical toll of playing three roller derby games in 24 hours time, it, it shows, but they're yeah. still doing pretty well. They do have an amazing amount of energy. Oh, teenagers. I remember when I had that kind of energy. I don't. Okay, I vaguely remember. It was a long time ago. <laughs> Only two blockers on the track for Rose City right now are Trooper and Misdemeanor. Lee Jammer going to L.A. 
Trooper gets a penalty, and Squash Bob Skate Pants is going to skate through. Demon Speed, still not having much luck, runs into the business end of Shamblock. And Misdemeanor out all alone. Now getting reinforcements, but it's not enough. Squash Bob Skate Pants. And Demon Speed finally finds that hole on the inside and is gone. Now the defense of Rose City trying to do some work. Two more points for LA and continuing to call timeouts as Rose City trying to get as many jams as possible to get caught up. 206 148 in favor of LA. Yep, it's Tyranny coming on back. Against Chocahannas. And it's a dance break. All right. Timeout over. 217 left on the clock. And Tyranny trying to go through. Having to recycle back. Chocahannas getting lead jammer, but Tyranny gets through. Chocahontas calling it off. Clock is going to run. Time out, LA. Trickster on the line against Rainbow Smash. Trickster pushing oh. through and is your lead jammer. I'll see you later doing a great job at the back against Rainbow Smash. Misdemeanor doing what Portland does and recycles. Wow, Trickster with a little jammer on jammer crime there. And now Rose City will use their official review to stop the clock one last time.
And it looks like this might actually be an official review. Coach Darth Bling making his case. The purple team is requesting a low block call on gold blocker 178. Easy guys. Slow down. And it's a dance party while we wait. When Kesha's playing, everyone should be dancing. So it was the momentum of the jammer um, that actually carried her down to the ground. There was no low block by the gold blocker. Therefore, the no call will stand, and purple will not retain their review. All right, right there we go. Rose City cannot stop the clock anymore, so this could potentially be the last jam of the game. <laughs> They're Getting excited. a little anxious. And Tierney is off. And the pack is screaming along. Tyranny fighting through this wall. Only got one left to beat. And does. Madelweiss holding on as long as she can. Tierney getting instructions from the sideline. Deciding to call it off and end it. Unofficial score right now, 165, 216 in favor of Los Anarchists. We'll wait for that to go official. And that is your official final score. Give both teams a big round of applause.
give it up for your rosebuds. All right, all we have left is the awarding of the MVPs, and then we are done for the day. Rosebud's first out. Wait for LA. All right, come on out. All right, we'll give out the uh, LA Awards first. So who uh, who do we have for MVP Jammer for the Laos Anarchists? Mount Crushmore. Mount Crushmore! Somebody turn her around. Come get your award. <laughs> and the MVP Blocker. Twiggy. Twiggy Marley. All right, MVP Jammer for the Rosebuds. Uh, that's Trickster. <laughs> MVP Blocker, Big Bang Fury. Okay, we have an overall. They did an overall MVP of the game, number 44, Tyranny. All right, if we can have the MVPs come right here for a quick picture. Get all the MVPs together for a quick picture. <laughs> 